Hey everybody, 3KO Games here. I've got a little bit of a cold, so excuse the voice, but I couldn't skip today because we have five brand new heroes in the Goblin Portal. So buckle your seatbelt. Let's jump in. All right. We have the debut of a brand new goblin family that aren't actually goblins at all. We'll be taking a look at the garrison guard right now today we with a couple heroes featured including this guy who's on the cover vanya look at that big guy with a i don't know what what kind of drill that is he looks like everything that boral wants to be plus with butterflies pretty awesome five star red monk and this garrison guard family has a family bonus of starting the battle with a minion a recruit guard mega minion. I don't know that it's mega mega, but it's slightly mega. So maybe at least this means that you can't get rid of it immediately. You can't just use a minion remover that can charge up really quickly like like Topaz and, and just take that minion away. You're going to still have to battle that minion out. 20% um, HP if you have one of their heroes, and 100% attack inherited from this character. And if you bring in more characters, that Mega Minion gets stronger. So, um, that's a nice family bonus, starting the battle with a little extra attack and a little meat shield. Um, Vanya has two passives. 5% mana that they gain when they receive a, a status ailment or a negative stack so any kind of bad stuff that's going to happen he's going to try to fight that by getting closer to firing off his special then this is the real important thing for this garrison guard as i've been raiding more and more trying to test out some some new war defenses or war attack teams and stuff i've been facing more and more goblins and those goblins just keep withering you down, withering you down, so that, like, why why isn't my attack doing anything at all? And that's that wither. And that's what this garrison guard is going to do. Not as a special, just as a passive. Every four turns, it removes all wither effects from all allies. It resets the clock. It's a pretty great passive. Uh, it's going to make these heroes very sought after um okay vanya's um stats are at 1034 team power i believe that's the biggest number i've seen yet until like tomorrow <laughs> and then it'll be higher and higher 1089 attack 1069 defense 1639 health and there's a quick glimpse with the max power preview on uh, vanya in addition to his family and passives, family bonus and passives, has a slow speed special sense of wonder. So you look at this guy and you don't think, well, he must be, he must be a healer, but he's a healer, at least at first, right? Uh, recovers 54% health for all allies. That's a big number. That's a good, I think it's a good number for a slow, for a slow speed special. Um, and then summons a shield guard mega minion. What was this mega minion? A recruit guard. Okay, this is a shield guard mega minion. That's even stronger. 60% HP, 160% attack inherited from the caster. So right away, that's going to be much harder to get rid of and is going to damage you for more. In addition, that mega minion cleanses the latest cleansable status ailment from all all allies each turn without triggering secondary effects so it's not it's not a risk to take him against um i don't know uh erlang pepper flame those types of heroes the war equalizer type heroes because that minion is going to cleanse and that's just fine that's just what it does so you bring in wither goblins against vanya and you have a little bit of window to take advantage of that and then it's gone and you bring in ailments against vanya and he's just gonna wipe those away 
good hero to counter a lot of the uh, of the of the things that we're seeing in a lot of the these top you know goblin teams and that kind of stuff. Vanya, excellent hero, slow speed. You know you have to be willing to be like, okay, I'm using a slow speed hero, or save him for rush or whatever. Um, let's take a look at who else is here. It's Priska. Okay, um, we have Shiver Scale, who is a five star yellow fighter. We haven't had a whole lot of yellow heroes in the goblins, so uh, family bonus is the same. He is missing one of those passives. He gets one of them. He still uh, removes wither from all allies every every four turns, which is which is great. The little five percent mana. He's already at fast speed. He'll be fine. Um. Oh, I didn't even think about that with uh, with with Vanya, since his thing is dispelling status ailments, and he gets five percent mana every time he gets a status ailment. Yeah, okay, super smart. Okay, just had to <laughs> jump back and mention that real quick. Uh, Shimmer Scale is also super powerful, 1032, not quite as high, but, I mean, you can't argue. 1034 attack, 1128 defense, 1639 health, and then with emblems and limit breaks. And that's what you get. Shimmer Scale has a fast speed special, Rude Awakening, which deals 300% damage to target and nearby. It's a good number for hit three at fast speed. Plus, a Mega Minion, a Sword Guard Mega Minion with 35% HP, 300 attack inherited from the caster. So it's not quite as strong as the Sword Guard Mega Minion of Vanya. But it's going to hit for, like, double that. Somebody's going to get three slash attacks every turn until you get rid of that thing. Um, yeah, we already know all about the Mega Minion stuff. The target hit by the Sword Guard Mega Minion receives 540 bleed damage over three turns. So, like, 180 damage each turn. And this is, uh, effect spreads to nearby enemies. Oh, luckily, it's just a 35% HP Mega Minion. But you're not necessarily going to clear that in, you know, a couple tiles or like even one attack. It might take a couple. Um, so you're probably going to spread some bleed damage to your allies if you're up against Shimmer Scale and they go off. Good hero. Very different hero from Vanya. Different speed, all that stuff. Um, feel like these garrison guard heroes will be very much sought after. Oops, where are we? We, went, we must have went all the way through and are starting over again. All right, a, another five star. This one's an actual. That's not him. I just punched on this guy, Scroll Beast, who is one of the old-fashioned, just plain old goblins, not a guard. So we know about the goblin family and um, removing boosted health anytime this hero takes damage from an enemy's special skill. And we know about this passive where you have a 60% chance to deal 90% damage to all enemies and give enemies negative 25% accuracy for three turns. That, you know, even when I'm playing with a with a goblin on my team, I feel like that 25% is higher. Like, I, I'm like, oh, there's the, there's the blind on the enemies again. It's, um, it's pretty nice. Oh, duh. Yes, of course. It's because it's a 60% chance to get the blind. The blind is only 25%. Never mind anything that I just said. Um, and never mind where Scroll Beast went. Where did he go? Let's get get that picture back in here. Where are you, Squirrel Beast? That is an ugly person. Hello, Squirrel Beast. Um, ten thirty-two team power, leaning slightly more defensively, but pretty well balanced stats. Another slow speed special. Got to be willing to bring in a slow speed hero or or wait for rush, but he will deal. 
335% damage to all enemies with this Boar of Fury special. And it's another, guess what, Mega Minion. After all enemies get negative 350 attack with Wither, um, this White Boar Mega Minion has 65% HP and 250% attack. So that's stronger in HP and much stronger in attack than Vanya's Mega Minion, but both of them are at slow speed. Plus, when summoned, this White Boar Mega Minion gives its owner the ability to counterattack with 100% of the damage as long as that White Boar Mega Minion uh, exists. So you got to get rid of that minion somehow. Hopefully you've got a hero that can bypass or whatever. Um, Scroll Beast. Don't know that I want to use an, another um, slow speed hero too much, but for Rush, uh, why not? And maybe, you know, just you have to kind of wrap your brain around like, okay, this is how I'm going to sp speed up this uh, hero and how I'm going to um, synergize him with some other t heroes so that when he goes off, it really um, really takes advantage of everything. Um, yeah, so there's Scroll Beast. Those are all the five stars. Now, we finally have another four star and another three star. We've been saying for a while, like, come on, just throw me in a, throw us a bone, throw another four star, throw another three star. We have them. They are of the Garrison Guard family, and the stats are not adjusted. Um, they start the battle with a Recruit Guard Mega Minion, 20% HP, 100% attack if you got one, and that gets a little bit more if you have two or three. And every four turns removes all wither effects from all allies. So, it's going to be hard to pull Vanya or Shimmer Scale, but chances are you put a, you know, a good number of pulls together, and you'll probably end up with Greg or this other guy, the, you know, the four-star or the three-star. So, level them up, and you could still bring them in, uh, in against five-star goblins. Take advan advantage of um, this passive where it removes all the wither effects. Um, I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of limit broken and double limit broken Gregs uh, for exactly that reason. His stats are, you know, where you would expect a um, four-star to be. Honestly, like, that's about where Season 1 five stars were. Um, so that's a that's a pretty good set of stats there, pretty evenly balanced. And Greg is a four-star blue barbarian with a special skill called Scale of the Newt. Very lovely. Average speed deals 100% damage to all enemies and summons a what? A Sword Guard Mega Minion. We're getting the picture here. They're going in on these mega minions. Okay. 35% HP, 300% attack inherited from the caster. Oh, like Shimmer Scale, this target hit by the Sword Guard Mega Minion receives 366 bleed damage over three turns, and, it, and that spreads to nearby enemies. So there is Greg. Actually, there is not Greg, because he disappeared from the card. Um... And then finally, we have, come on, a three-star. Yay, three-star heroes. Three-star garrison guard hero, William Green Fighter. These stats are, are the same. They're not adjusted because he's a three-star. And at 851, 811, and 1098 with double limit break, that looks... Better than a Season 1 5-star without em emblems or limit breaks. So, um, his special is Average Speed Situational Awareness. We're going to deal 210% damage to the target and nearby. So, 210% damage, hit 3. Then, Caster and nearby allies get... A boost in defense, 36% for three turns, and a boost in critical chance, 36% chance for three turns. 
maybe some people start uh, leveling this guy up and just bringing him in on Titans. If you don't, if you're unhappy with your green Titan team. By the way, when you say green Titan team, does that mean your heroes are green or you're facing a green Titan? I never know. <laughs> I think I usually say green Titan team. Green describes the team. Um, so the heroes are green. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's William. Just fine as a three-star. have a feeling we'll start seeing him uh, leveled up and used in in some stuff. But the thing is, like, you know, you're not going to bring him in on, on three-star tournaments. Well, maybe you are. Uh, but as far as the wither and that kind of stuff, I mean, that's not that doesn't happen with three-star goblins. We don't have a whole lot of other three-star goblins to face. Do you bring a three-star in in a five-star battle just because hopefully he lasts four turns and gets rid of some um, gets rid of some wither? I don't know if you do, um, but. Um, yeah, so I have a few coins here. Let's do a few pulls. Let's do a few superstitions. Well, that doesn't look good. That looks fine. Okay, six pulls. Five new heroes, six pulls. So let's just do that, right? Oh, plus the doubles, right? Yeah, so like, I'll just, let's get the whole family now. Gray Mane. There we are. We've got... <laughs> hey, Boots, how you doing? Still haven't leveled up Boots. Ganju. Nothing good happens after Ganju. Maybe I should just stop. Or maybe this is the time that something good happens after Ganju. Friar. Tuck. Two pulls. Let's at least... Get some kind of goblin. Maybe one of the new Little John. Even a four-star or the three-star, the, the garrison guard guys. Let's let's go. Come on. <laughs> and another boots. Okay. Well, that's what I get. Um, no luck from me. Good luck to you if you choose to do some pulls here. Um, I thank you so much for watching the video checking out the channel as always feel free to like subscribe comment all those things and we'll see you next time